Hello beautiful people, welcome to today's video. Today's video I'm, I'm quite honestly V nervous about because it's a full face of first impression. And although I thoroughly enjoy seeing these videos on other people's uh, YouTubes, channels on other people's channels I didn't realize how nerve-wracked I would be to do one for myself I'm actually really excited about everything except I went to the dollar store and I got an eyeshadow palette and a foundation I actually bought two foundations these are the foundations this is the shadow palette I'm actually thinking that's gonna be okay but I'm really nervous about these cuz the shades there's three shades need I say more I'm gonna start with what I'm most nervous about, which is the foundation. <laughs> Why do I care so much? I don't know. They're both really bad, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with, oh God, oh I hate them so much. Okay, let me suck it up and just slap this on. This is the Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation in the shade. I'm gonna take that and, um, put this on my face you know this smells kind of good hold on I said kind of but what does it remind me of so far it's like I blend it out and nothing happens that dollar foundation did about a dollar's worth of work thanks for nothing like it could have been worse let's just see if it builds up because I'm crazy It's not buildable. Both sides look the same to me. Okay, the next product I have here is a concealer by Milani. I'm a really big fan of Milani, so I'm really hoping, what is that? I'm really hoping that this isn't really bad. This is the package right here. It has a sponge applicator on the top. It's not super stiff. And I got the shade medium light, so I think, oh, oh no. This looks like really dark. Maybe not. Maybe it just looked darker than than I thought. Okay, hold on. I'm going to stop being a drama queen and just put this on. It blends out really easily. I feel like the coverage is there. I feel like it does brighten a little bit. It has medium coverage. Doesn't look like it really covers up my circles all the way. But honestly, even with really thick, heavy coverage concealers, unless I co color correct along with it, they don't always cover that for me. So I'm not gonna dock it. I actually kind of like it. Yay, I was nervous. Cool, I'm glad it worked. Okay, next, where are you? I'm very excited to try this. It looks like Milani came out with a contour and highlight duo thingamabob, and I didn't even know they were coming out with that, so I'm super excited. One side's a liquid highlight, and the other side is like a contour stick. Okay, ooh, the contour looks like it's gonna be very light for me. It might, oh. I stand corrected. I'm so sorry. So I like how I didn't even like read. It feels like super silky smooth. Oh my gosh, I like wanna rub it all over my face. But I won't, I'll stick to the contouring spots. This is actually a really nice color. I'm just gonna contour everything. Who needs a chin? Let's see how it's blending. Okay. Do you see how it's just blending like super easily? That's kind of really nice. Oh my gosh, guys. Yay! Okay, I was ex I'm excited that some of these aren't aren't total total busts. All right, let's blend the nose. My new nose.
let me see if it's buildable. It feels like a balm. It almost works as a bronzer. Mm. <sighs> okay, I like it. All right, <clears throat> now it's time for the highlight. Let's just go in. I'm gonna go everywhere I like to highlight. Okay. It actually looks kind of nice. It's very subtle. It's almost too subtle. Hold on. All right, so I feel like that highlight really didn't do a lot, which really sucks because I like the contour shade. But maybe let me blend it out with my fingers. It's just a really natural highlight, I think is the, uh, the kicker here. It doesn't emphasize texture a lot, which is really nice. I just say it kind of gives a nice glow. I'd even like to try this all over the face just to see if it adds like a nice kind of dew, but it's a very, 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 very soft highlight. Alrighty, so to set my whole face, I'm going to go in with the Milani Pret Set, Pret? Nope. Prep Set and Goo powder, and it's just a pressed translucent powder, as you can see here. I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush and that powder. Okay. Queen of kick up. Wonderful. I don't know if it has any SPF or any reason to flash back, but I hope not. I'm just gonna go over the lids as well. Alright, let me see what my skin looks like. Uh it looks very soft. I'm actually don't know if it's the foundation that just sucks really hard because my skin doesn't look nice and I'm mad about it, but it's okay. I'm gonna go in with this other product I'm super excited about. This is Milani uh, Golden Light Spotlight, and if this is, says it's a strobe palette, but I thought it was a bronzing item. We're about to be glowing. So this is so freaking gorgeous. It just, oh my gosh, how gorgeous. And then this, like a red oh my gosh I don't know if I can bronze with this and then over here we have like a golden almost looks the same now one's more copper one's more gold all right I'm gonna bronze with it because that's just the mood I'm in let's just hope it goes well because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be a bronzer but it's way too dark for me to highlight with oh okay Hello pigment, I didn't see you there. Okay, I, I love that. I love it a lot. Worth it. <laughs> okay, next, for a blush, I'm gonna go in with this new Milani, everything's Milani, I'm, uh, I didn't realize. This new Milani blush palette in the shade Coral Beams. They had a few other ones, but this is the one that spoke to me the most. All right, let's see. Oh no, I like it. <sighs> I like that blush, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna go back in with the powder and just try to blend everything out since this brush I like, but I feel like it's sabotaging my work a little bit. All right, so here's the base so far. It's not terrible. I really just wanna blame this dumb foundation. I hate it, so far everything else is gorgeous. And those powders by Milani are just really impressive. I'm really, very, very, really, very, really happy with them. <laughs> okay, next thing I picked up, I'm on the hunt for a brow, like, micro pencil like this. I like the NYX one, but I just haven't been really liking it for one reason or another. I did get this from Black Radiance, and they are cruelty-free, and I actually never, ow. I had actually never seen them in my Walgreens before, but they were there, which is really exciting because they have like nice shades of foundation that like other brands like to neglect. Oh my God, look at how thin that is. Oh my goodness. I'm a little heavy handed with these. So I hope I don't break it. Oh my God, this spoolie is tiny. <laughs> oh, my brows need love. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, let's do this.
so far, very good. I broke it. I always break these. It's me, it's not them. Okay, guys, I uh, really like this pencil. I'm actually very impressed with it. And I'm, I, I'm happy with it. It's very waxy though, so we'll see how long it lasts. But holy cow! I have not had a good brow day, and you know, it's not the best brow day because my brows aren't like fleek as hell, but <clears throat> compared to what I've been dealing with lately, this is not bad. <gasps> yes, queen. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Um, I'm just gonna use this on my brows. Ooh, I love the, <clears throat> I love the wand. It's very long and flat. It doesn't carry too much product, so I don't have a goopy mess on my brows. I really like it so far, and it was like a dollar. This one's being a little weird, but they're sisters, not twins. We're fine. Okay, what else do we have? We are going in with the eyeshadow palette. I'm actually really excited about these colors. Why? I don't know. They're very basic, which I think is why I'm excited about them. <laughs> this is from LA Colors, and this is the Hot 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 palette. <laughs> so those are the shades right there, and I'm going to just see what I can uh, come up with. All right, so I'm going to just go in with this BH Cosmetics Stone Brush, and I'm going to pick up this light cream vanilla shade right here, and that's what I'm going to put all over my lids and up to my crease. Oh, that's, oh my gosh, very shimmery. It didn't look like it in the pan. Oh boy. I hope this isn't a terrible idea. All right, so next I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's kind of a warm brown. It borders on pink and has a lot of red in there. And I'm going to use that as my transition. Let's hope I don't regret this decision. You know, for a dollar, it's really not that bad. Okay, so this shade's like picking up rosy on my skin tone, but in the pan, it's almost like a terracotta color. So this is, this is odd. Weird. Maybe it mixed with that cream shade. I don't know. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. I'll be right back. That's like straight up pink. That is so bizarre. I'm going to keep building it up because I don't have enough problems in my life, so I figured having really shitty eyeshadow would bring some spice. Spice up your life. Na -na 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 -na. I'm gonna use this shade right here, which, holy moly, I did not expect it to pick up that much pigment. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. Just putting that in the outer V. Oh, good. I was worried it wasn't going to blend into a soft nothing. What in the heck? It's just doing a whole lot of not a lot of stuff here. I'm actually going to step back into this highlighting palette that I didn't know was a highlighting palette because I don't know how to read, apparently. And I'm going to use this, and I'm going to use this shade right here, and I'm going to put that uh right here okay and then i'm gonna go into the blush palette and i'm gonna use this color as my inner corner highlight Ooh, it's very pink i lied okay i'm gonna go back into this one and i'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight the other one was way too pink it didn't look like it was but it was Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired of talking. All right, so to finish the eyes, I'm going to go in with this color right here, and that's what I'm going to use on the lower lash line, just to give it some dimension. Like so. All right, so to finish up the eyes, I'm going to try the Mega Volume Mascara by Wet n Wild, and hopefully... <laughs> This doesn't play me like some other things have right now. All right, I'm just gonna do my lashes like I always would. Okay, so I I actually really like the mascara. I, 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 I went a little crazy and I got it a little bit everywhere. 
but it actually did a really great job of coating them the lashes and just being overall not terrible I've had a really rough streak with mascaras lately so I'm really happy about that all right so we are almost done I know <laughs> can you believe it <laughs> I can't I've been sitting here for an hour okay Last but not least, I'm going to try this lip gloss by Black Radiance, and this just color called to me, and I feel like it's going to match really well with this eyeshadow that is pink, and I didn't, I didn't know that it would be, but this is in the shade, what shade are you in? It doesn't say. <sighs> okay, I have a few things to say about this already. Holy cow, it's super comfortable. It does the sticky thing a little bit. I actually really don't mind that in a lip gloss. It did seem like I had to put a lot on just to get the color payoff, and it's not as intense as I thought it would be, which I'm not really mad at. I kind of like a sheer gloss every now and then, so that's really not bad at all. So, yeah, and plus it smells like candy. It smells like fruit roll-up. Oh, oh my God, it smells like fruit roll-up. Okay, I love it. All right, let's do a quick recap, <laughs> quick okay guys so this is the finished look I actually I actually really like the finished look it's not at all what I thought I was gonna do but I'm not mad about it it's actually really flattering I think what do you think do you think so maybe am I pull myself I don't know so as a recap <clears throat> foundation sucks forget this I don't like this it sucks can I really say that because it, it doesn't look that bad it just didn't really do anything so for that reason I don't appreciate it the concealer I'm definitely gonna hold on to I feel like it did a really great job at concealing and brightening and it didn't crease under my eyes as much as I've had other ones crease under my eyes and I actually really like the color because it's not super bright and highlighting so if I just want to wear this alone I feel like I can get away with it and it not look so crazy and also I feel like because the color was really nice on me it helped fix that not great foundation color so this was a keeper this Milani what is this called contour and highlight cream and liquid duo so I am actually really in love with the contour side I think if you like a really light contour highlight look in general this is pretty great so the powder um, I'm a little undecided about I think it did a really good job but I have a lot of texture and I think that might just be from that foundation not being great so I'm not gonna blame this and it did set everything it does feel super soft so I'll have to try this again to really make up my mind about it but on first impressions it did its job and I like it all right so yeah I, I'm a huge fan of this this is gorgeous the swatches are beautiful. I feel like mixing it made a really nice bronzer that wasn't really super highlighted. It just, it gives a really beautiful finish. And if you have a deeper skin tone, this would be a gorgeous highlight. And also, if you don't have a deep skin tone, these are beautiful as eyeshadows. So this is a keeper. I'm very happy about it. So the next thing is the Color Harmony Blush Palette. I really like this. I'm not a huge blush fan. I've mentioned that before, but I think these colors are super suitable for my skin tone and I, I like it and I feel like it's just really cute. This was a winner in my book. This is the Precision Brow Sculptor by Black Radiance. It's the brow pencil that I used and I really liked it. I feel like it gave me a nice precise brow and I didn't get a little, I didn't go too crazy with it, which I tend to do. And I think the very like waxy formula is nice and uh, you don't sacrifice pigment so it gives you a nice pigment payoff while still giving you the flexibility of a wax formula so I like this hopefully it lasts long enough this is the wet n wild mega clear mascara I actually really enjoy this I feel like it's holding up my brow hairs but keeping a really soft feel all right so as for this I, I don't like this at all I don't recommend it it was a dollar but it was a dollar too much I think the pigment sucks I like where they were going with the color selection, but just once you put it on your eyes, it looks not, it doesn't look like this, and the color payoff sucks, so it was a dollar, and I want my money back. <laughs> the next thing is the mascara. I actually really enjoyed this. I feel like it gave my lashes a nice coat. It's dry. I have a, a video of hits and misses I'm actually going to cover, and I have a mascara that just looks real bad. Okay, guys, so that's, again, the final look and my final verdict on all of these first impressions whoa what a video I feel exhausted from talking but I wanted to do an affordable full face 
first impression video for you guys and for me too. So let me know if you like videos like these. If you want more first impression videos, I would actually really like to do more. So let me know your thoughts down below and uh, that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys uh, next week. I post every Tuesday. So I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.